Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley. For those of you who do not know, I just want to say thank you so much for stopping by. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button if you like what you see. And do not forget to hit the thumbs up as well as the bell. That way you stay notified every single time I upload a video. This makeup look that I got going on right here, I actually just recorded, well I just went live on my Facebook which I will have linked down below. I am going to be going live twice a week, well twice a week on my Facebook page doing makeup looks that you guys request or you know just whatever pops up out of the blue. So if you guys would like to see that then go ahead and head over to my Facebook. If you do not have Facebook and you still want to see this look then let me know and I will recreate it for you guys here on YouTube. Alright so without further ado let's jump into my favorites. So for the first product I want to talk about is actually skincare. So if you guys have been following me on Snapchat, I have been using aloe vera as my moisturizer. I've been using it as my primer and my moisturizer. So what I do is, I actually have it here next to me. I actually purchased the aloe vera plant. Oh, so I actually purchased the whole leaf. And what I do is I cut it up, take out the good stuff inside, and put the good stuff in a bowl. So by putting it in a bowl, I just preserve its longevity and I put it in the refrigerator and leave it at that. And then every morning and every night, I go ahead, cleanse my face, tone my face, and then I go ahead and grab a piece and then just apply it to my face and boom, I'm ready to go to sleep. Or boom, I'm ready to start my day. So I am going to insert a clip on how I actually cut that up and you know, store it and all that stuff and how I apply it to my face just so you guys can peep that really quick. So let's go ahead and show you that. So I take my aloe vera on a cutting board and I cut like the very tip because it's so small I really don't get a lot of product from that. And I like to cut it right in the half because it's so big. And then what I'll do is I'll slice it right along. That way I can open it up. And I was just showing you the nice juicy goodness that's inside this bad boy. So here I'm just separating it. And then I'm going to kind of cut it like in slices. And then cut it again as I were cutting cubes. And this is where I'm going to put it. So this is just a bowl and I put this in the fridge. So with the spoon I'm just scraping out the aloe vera because it just makes it easier. It doesn't have to be precise or equal parts or whatever it's just what's going on your face so every time you go and apply your moisturizer which is this you would just grab a piece and just apply so yeah I love aloe vera because number one it's organic it's safe for the skin unless you're allergic to it but it has tremendously helped my skin I see smaller pores and I seen a difference in the redness in my skin you guys know that I've mentioned to you a ton of times that I have a lot of redness in my skin and I feel like it helped dull some of that redness down so if you are like me and you have oily skin sensitive skin acne prone skin and you are not allergic to aloe vera i would definitely buy you a plant not already store bought buy you a natural plant and use that for your face and i promise you you will thank me later so. another skin care or skin prep item that i would like to talk about is the mario badesco setting spray i am out of it like, I really do not have nothing in here. I need to order me another one. But this right here, this is rose water spray and it also has aloe in it. Now, they did come up with a aloe one separately, which you can purchase that one if you prefer. But this is just thebomb.com. Everyone and their mother talks about this. This you can use in your skincare. This you can use for prepping your makeup, setting your makeup, all the above. So what I like to do is I like to you know cleanse my face tone my face put the aloe vera on my face and then I'll spray this on top I don't know just call me crazy but I just love the way my skin feels after so refreshed and so nice and that is what I do also you just drop it also for my skincare I like to use this as a prepper so I'll just spray this before I apply my foundation and also afterwards as a spreading a setting spray and a refresher so this is thebomb.com like I said I highly highly recommend that you guys give this a try if again you are not allergic to aloe I 
have two more skincare products here that have really made a big difference in my skincare routine. The first one is the Garnier Skin Active. This is the Invigorating Daily Scrub. Now this says it is a daily scrub and indeed it is. It has very tiny, tiny, tiny micro beads inside that really do not cause any irritation or anything like that to the skin. And they are not really rough on the skin which is perfect for a daily use. This one has peppermint and jojoba in it. So what I like about this is that I like to use this especially in the morning time because of the peppermint. I feel like it gives me that tingly and just refreshed like get your ass up feeling. And I really like it. It's not uncomfortable or anything like that. It's just a really nice feeling. This is for normal skin but like I said I do have oily combination skin but this has worked amazing because it does not dry out my skin and it also has no oil in it so that's another plus as far as masks go I've been testing out a lot of masks lately and one thing mask that I want to talk to you guys about is from L'Oreal this is fairly new but like not new new but this is the L'Oreal this is the mud mask is it anyways it's the blackish gray one and this is what it looks like inside. I'm almost out of it and I need a new one. This right here. Now, the funny thing about this is it's nasty looking. Like, when you put it on your face and it dries up, it starts showing you all your pores, which is kind of disgusting. But it shows you all those damn craters you have on your face. And I really like it because it gets really tight on the skin. And when you wash it off, your skin feels so smooth like a baby's bottom. And it also feels so refreshed. So, this one I really do like. I do have the green one. I have not tried the orange one, but this one I really, really like. You leave it on for about 10 to 15 minutes, and it's just amazing. I cannot rave about this anymore. You should definitely try this. Okay, I now want to talk about some stuff for your face as far as makeup goes. So the first thing I want to talk about is very affordable, and I use it all the time, is the Wet n Wild Cover All Color Correcting Palette. And this is what she looks like. So this is a cream product. Hold on, let's focus. So this is a cream product, so you do have your yellow, green, purple, and white. The yellow counteracts purple, and the green would counteract red, but obviously there's white on the other side. Just a little quickie. The green is going to cover up redness, so if you have redness on your cheek, around your nose, on your chin, on your forehead, you would go ahead and apply the green first underneath your foundation and then go from there. The yellow would work perfectly underneath the eyes to cover up any darkness, and the purple helps illuminate your skin. If you feel like you have dark patches on your face, any dullness on your face, then I would go ahead with the purple one, and it would just help brighten up your face as well. And the white one is just another, like, illumination, you know, just to help you look more awake and a little bit more fresh and dewy. What I like to do is just take it with my finger, apply it to where needed, then go ahead with my sponge, blend it in a little bit more, and then apply my foundation on top and just continue my skincare routine that way. And this, for it being drugstore wet and wild, I absolutely love it. It does not break me out. Um, and like I said, I do have sensitive skin, but it does not break me out at all. And it says on the packaging, normalize, neutralize, cover, and illuminator. So it does all of that. And I really, really do like this. So if you're, you know, on a budget or if you want something that's cheap just to experiment with color correcting then I would highly recommend this little palette right here. Something else for dark circles would be the NYX Dark Circle Concealer which I have been neglecting for quite a while but this is what she looks like and this is in the color light so as you can see she is on the orangey peachy shade and this is another color in which will help brighten up the under eyes. So if you're on the light to medium skin tone, tone, I would definitely recommend like a yellow or like a orangey salmon color for underneath the eyes as far as concealer goes. And if you are more on the darker side, I would definitely recommend like a dark rich orange or even a red to help conceal and just 
help brighten up your skin. Next, I want to talk about some highlights that I have been using this month. And the first one is actually a liquid. I really don't like liquid highlights because I feel like they may break away. And I like my highlights to stay on all day. But I really like this as a base. And this is the Rimmel Good To Glow Highlight. And this is in the shade 01 Notting Hill Glow. I'll go ahead and swatch it on the back of my hand for you guys. So, as you can see, it's a cream. So, I'm just going to blend it in. Like, look at how pigmented that is. So, this is like a really beautiful, like, champagne pinky color. It's so beautiful. So, just imagine you applying this on your cheekbone and then going on top with the powder highlight. <gasps> Oh my god, perfection. So as you can see, that little bit goes a long way, so it spreads all over my hand. And as you can see, my hand is really illuminated and sparkly. So on top of that, this month what I have been loving is the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. So... I know everyone and their mother probably has this palette, so you guys should be very familiar with this. This is what she looks like. She's so beautiful. And then when you open it, you have six beautiful, unique highlighters. You have white, you have bronzy, you have orange, you have pink. They're so, so pretty. So I typically just mix and match my highlights. I don't go for just one. But today... I have on kitty cat only so imagine putting this and then kitty cat on top like my highlight would even be more potent and more glowy but just look at that like don't look like a freshly baked donut glazed donut like just look at that so beautiful those are all the products that I've been enjoying this month I mean I do have a little bit more but I didn't want to make this video too too long I just wanted to get straight to the point so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you tried any of the products that I mentioned here, or if you are going to give anything a try, please let me know in the comment section below. I would love to hear your thoughts, comments, or concerns, as always. You know, I try to answer to as many of you as I can. So definitely, you know, have a conversation with me. Just let me know what you tried, what you don't like, if you tried, or if you have any questions, just let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. Besos y abrazos, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye!